into a potential other. We have got the direct quotes coming in from Frankie de Jong. And I, I prob probably somebody said you, you sound a bit upbeat considering he snubbed us. Um, he has effectively stub snubbed us. Let's just get some of the quotes up on the screen for you. So uh, this is direct quotes from Frankie de Jong. Um, but... I don't know how to th I don't know how to shape this show. Right, I don't know how to shape this show. Okay, we'll do it this way. I'll, I'll stick with it. Frankie De Jong uh, said, "I don't want to talk about rumors anymore. I feel good at Barcelona, but maybe there is contact. There is no agreement and nothing official. So that's door slightly open. What's a door? Door slightly open." That's not a door. That's just two hands together. The door, he opens the door set there. He says, maybe there's contact, but there's no agreement and nothing official. He then goes on to say, I prefer to stay at our Barcelona. I said this before. Barcelona is the club of my dreams ever since I was little. And if other clubs call, then you will take the call. But you always do that. Um, so um, he then goes on to say, of course, I heard about the links to Manchester United, but the people in, the ch in charge of the club, Barcelona, didn't tell me anything. So then I will assume that there is no agreement and then nothing is going on. So then I won't worry about it. Uh, he says, I have been in contact with Ten Hag. I won't tell you this. Have, if I have been in contact with Ten Hag, I won't tell you this. I wouldn't tell you this It was if it was about another manager at another club too. Uh, he says, I did talk with Xavi about next season, but that was just about football, about the squad and what is needed to improve. And uh, he was also asked about um, Frankie de Jong on his sale to help Barcelona's financial situation. I understand that, but the club didn't tell me anything. They didn't propose anything to me. So I'm assuming that nothing is going on. And asked if he went to Manchester United because Ten Hag wants him. Will he 100% play? Well, I don't know, but I'm not moving. I am not moving to a club with the thought of I won't play here in my mind. So look, you know, it's it's look, I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to leave that one on the screen because that's the one that made me feel a little bit sad today. Um, Frankie de Jong has basically done an interview today on Dutch duty and said he wants to stay at Barcelona. He's not been told anything different from Barcelona and he understands the financial situation, but he's not been told about any agreement with any other club. I feel sorry for Frankie de Jong. As much as I want him to join Manchester United, I feel sorry for Frankie de Jong. What hurt me, and, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, when I say hurt, I'm not crying in the garden or anything like that. I just think, you know, empathy, human empathy, is that he's at the club he's wanted to play at since he was a kid. Um, Man Marit says, my girlfriend's excited about the Boohoo Man discount. Grace, go and enjoy yourself, Grace. Um, so... That's a bit, bit of a bit of a cheap thing, though, isn't it? Oh, I found a forty percent discount. Go and go and go and uh, treat yourself. But you know, at least at least she's getting something. But in relation to, to to Frankie, I don't know what people think about this now because I I can see people in the chat straight away. Um, Ace says, "Do you actually believe that interview? He definitely knows the situation." I think it's worse if he knows the situation. I mean, this is bass. This is you know what we we spend so much time talking about sources and what journalists are saying. This is from the, the player. This is from Frankie de Jong himself. Direct quotes about Manchester United interest and Barcelona selling him. So maybe he does know a little bit more. But the fact, if he does know a little bit more and he's saying what he's just said there, which has now disappeared off my screen, which seems to happen a lot these days. Um, if he does know that, then he is effectively saying that he wants to stay at Barcelona because it's his dream club. I, I, I do feel sorry, in, sorry for him in that sense because he doesn't want to leave. He wants to stay at Barcelona. It is his dream club. Imagine you played for Manchester United. Most of you Manchester United fans, right? Imagine you're playing for Manchester United in the midfield. The club is rebuilding. You're in the Champions League next year. You want to fight for big things. And you get Ten Hag taking you to the office and saying, I don't want to sell you, but the club's in financial difficulty and you are being sold. Put yourself, that's what That's what I mean. Put yourself in that situation. You're at your dream club. You're playing for Manchester United, the theatre dreams. This is where you want to be. And then the owners say, we're selling you because we need to raise money to bring other people in. How heartbreaking would that be? I want to stay. I want to be part of this. I love this club. Yeah, but we know you're worth more money than anyone else and uh, we need to bring other people here. So I think it's, um, I think it's um, really... Um, really quite sad in that sense and uh, you know there's an interesting point there from Marcus saying stop trying to kidnap players that don't want to come well and hence the debate opens up there because the next update I'm going to bring you is actually and we're putting our hands in the Barcelona camp here 
this was via at managing Barca on Twitter who ranked there are some brilliant aggregator accounts out there especially around Spanish football uh, there's a few Real Madrid ones and there's a few Barcelona ones and big clubs big fan bases and you know they they, they, they gather information and they they rank the information and apparently this is from uh, um, fans Javi Miguel who is a tier one source. At the moment, all roads lead to the departure of Frankie de Jong. Barcelona want 90 million. So effectively, Frankie de Jong is up for sale. Um, And we knew this was probably going to be the outcome of today's meeting at uh, Barcelona HQ. There's another story as well that they've got to find 500 million pounds by the end of uh, June. He's effectively up for sale. And that's where we are. It's sad, but it's not really a snub, is it, says Dwayne. Well, I think it is. I think it is. Um, I, I think it is a snub. And, and, and you know why I think it's a snub? Because he said he wants to stay at Barcelona. Um, you know, I mean, I suppose the definition of snub is rebuff, ignore or spurn uh, disdainfully. Um, I, I accept that, you know, it's not like F off, I don't want to come to you. But ultimately, he has publicly said he wants to stay at Barcelona. Ramiz, welcome to the Members Club. And Daniel Kirk says, Mark, 80 million euros is 68 million pounds. How much would you be looking to bring that down for a good deal for De Jong, says Daniel? Well, that price on the screen, Daniel, is 90 million. I don't really see it as a snub. We all know he was wanted to stay at Barcelona. This transfer will all depend on Barca wanting to sell him, says Stephen. Well, we're getting into the finite detail of what a snub is here I mean to be honest with you if I'm in a club and I say to a girl do you fancy coming out for a meal with me tomorrow night and she says I really like the look of you I I think you you look really nice but I prefer this other I prefer my partner I'm with that's a snub it might be a polite snub but it's still a snub and I tell you what if I did that in a nightclub I'd get I'd be getting into big trouble with Mrs Goldbridge anyway so it's a hypothetical anyway but what I'm trying to do is show you an example that I call it a snub when somebody says no, they don't want to do it with you. Um, and I don't, I don't, when I say doing it, I don't mean having it off. I mean, like, they, you know, they don't want to join you. He doesn't want to join us. He wants to stay at Barcelona. If Barcelona say we don't want you, change of the situation. And I think De Jong leaves that door open there by saying, look, there's not, I've not been told that. You know, I'm not going to take any notice of that until I'm told that. So... I think the situation with Frank Frankie De Jong is hasn't much changed. Tom Howes, welcome to Members Club. I don't think the situation with Frankie De Jong has changed. Can you remind me as well? I've got a big announcement. Frankie De Jong has changed. It's just been solidified in the sense that he again... Well, he, I don't think he said it publicly before. He has said it publicly now that he wants to stay at Barcelona. But he's also said... You know, if they sell me, then you know I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to have a look at what the situation is. Um, so, I suppose you delve into the debate again. Do you want Frankie De Jong at this club? And hence, we'll do a poll. Do you, do you want De Jong still? Do you want a player that? Doesn't really want to come. We're on the event horizon of either being sucked into a black hole forever or turning this shit around. Who's optimistic, says Murphy. Uh, Beckham didn't want to leave United, still succeeded, says Sean Kelly. Exactly. Exactly. Roy Keane was going to Blackburn Rovers. We spoke to him over the weekend. He came to Manchester United. 